It appears the Mariners partied a little too hard at FanFest over the weekend as they fell 8-0 to the Padres in their inaugural game in their newly minted home. Mike Leak fanned Ian Kinsler to open the game, suck it, Ian, but it was all downhill from there as the two, three, four, five hitters for the Padres went single double home run double before Leak induced a pop-up that was followed by the inevitable Brian Healy error at the hot corner and then another home run allowed. Before many fans found their $10 sit wherever the heck you want seats, the Padres had batted around and the M's were down 6-0. Chris Paddock, who the started the game for the Padres, was every bit as advertised, striking out Malik Smith and Jay Bruce in the first as we all continued growing increasingly dumbfounded that he was acquired for half a season to Fernando Rodney. Fun fact, Rodney allowed 24 earned runs in 36.2 innings for Miami over the remainder of that season. The second inning appeared to be off to a rough start as Kinsler roped the line drive off the left field fence but Domingo Santana wisely elected to field it off the carom and cut Kinsler down well short of second base with a strong throw from near the warning track. There remained little to get excited about for Mariners fans as the game unfolded while Edwin Encarnacion fanned twice and continued to play questionable defense at first, prompting me to tell my roommate that the Mariners are going to DFA him before Thursday, the people want Foggy. The people need V-O-G-E-Y. Outside of a Ryan Healy single and a Domingo Santana walk, the Mariners' offensive remained silent, even after Paddock's departure upon hitting his pitch limit for the night in the fourth inning. Leak rebounded from his rocky first inning quite admirably, scattering four hits and allowing just one run, a solo home run by Manuel Margot, over his next 4.1 innings. Somewhere during Leak's last inning, I accompanied my roommate on his Uber Eats delivery, an order from a particularly poorly staffed KFC, Dylan Moore apparently made a nice play that was salvaged by a first baseman-ish looking pick by Daniel Vogel back according to one Shannon Dreyer. Taking over in the sixth, Corey Gearan promptly struck out Fernando Tatis Jr. and Austin Hedges to end the inning. Reliever of the Year Award frontrunner Hunter Strickland towed the rubber for the M's in the seventh, striking out the side in impressive fashion, never mind that he surrendered Manuel Margot's second home run of the night. Back-to-back -back walks by Tim Lopez and Christopher Negran in the bottom half of the frame were negated by consecutive strikeouts of Jose Lobaton and Austin Nola as the Mariners' first and only real offensive threat of the game came to pass. Zach Rouskup continued making his case to be named the Mariners' steal of the offseason, striking out two in a spotless eight inning, pushing his strikeout total to 12 through 9.0 combined innings as a Mariner, over which he's yet to yield a run and my goodness I don't know how anyone is ever going to hit his stuff and funky delivery. Jason Bradford followed him up by working an efficient 1, 2, 3 ninth inning. Noted member of the kids Jake Fraley wasted no time roping an opposite field single to start off the ninth but a strikeout looking by fellow kid Evan White, and swinging strikeouts of Tim Lopez and Christopher Negran and the book was closed on the night's action. I'm really 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 hoping that the next time the Mariners are looking to make a serious postseason push, they don't open the season going from playing in Arizona to playing in Japan to hosting FanFest in Seattle to playing in Seattle right before the season starts. Have fun following tomorrow's game at work.